Hi, this is Roy Larson. I'm a certified financial planner and owner of Larson Wealth Management. Today we're going to discuss how to calculate risk probability. In our industry, we have a ton of indicators on how to calculate risk. So while we don't have a lot of time today to go through every one of them, let me share just one with you, and it'll help you in evaluating an individual investment or perhaps your whole portfolio in what level of risk you may be taking. Standard deviation. Here's a simple one. Most of these indicators, these figures are readily available in many of the financial websites that you review now. You're going to want to look for the mean return of an investment or a fund. You're also going to want to look for the standard deviation. So if the mean return is 7 and the standard deviation is 10, you're simply going to add the standard deviation to the mean return. And at both ends, you have two figures. At the top end, we'll have 17%. And if we subtract that same standard deviation from the mean return, we'll have negative 3. What that basically means is 68% of the time, the returns of that investment are going to fall within that standard deviation. As we continue to play it out, it doesn't stop at one standard deviation. What we simply want to do is add a standard deviation or basically double the standard deviation and add and subtract from the same mean return. What this will give you is your results in 95% of the cases. If we want to go three standard deviations, very simply, triple the standard deviation, add it to the mean, subtract it to the, from the mean, and 99% of the time, that's where the range of returns will fall. This will help you calculate risk in your portfolio or with individual investments. Again, this is Roy Larson, Certified Financial Planner, and you just heard how to calculate risk probability.